مجمع الأندلس التعليمي تعلم عصري ملهم بهوية وطنية وقيم إسلامية السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته جميعا إلى كل من يتابعنا على منصة الأندلس التعليمية وإلى طلبة مدارس الأندلس خاصة نحييكم ونقرئكم السلام تحية عن بعد وسلاما من دون مصافحة إلى أن تنجلي هذه السحابة ونوصيكم بمتابعة آخر توجيهات اللجنة العليا لإدارة الأزمات ونصائح وزارة الصحة وأهمها stay home وتذكر أن الرسول صلى الله عليه وسلم كان أول من أرسى قواعد علم العزل أو الحجر الصحي قال صلى الله عليه وسلم إذا سمعتم بالطاعون بأرض فلا تدخلوها وإذا وقع بأرض وأنتم بها فلا تخرجوا منها ولا تنسوا ولا أنسى أن نتضرع إلى الله سبحانه وتعالى قال سبحانه ولقد أرسلنا إلى أمم من قبلك فأخذناهم بالبأساء والضراء لعلهم يتضرعون وقال عز من قائل فلولا إذ جاءهم بأسنا تضرعوا وقال سبحانه وتعالى وما أرسلنا في قرية من نبي إلا أخذنا أهلها بالبأساء والضراء لعلهم يضرعون وقال سبحانه ولقد أخذناهم بالعذاب فما استكانوا لربهم وما يتضرعون وتذكر أن مضاد فيروس كورونا قد يكون ولعلهم يتضرعون والآن إلى درسنا Back to English and a new lesson about preferences Have a look at the pictures and answer the following question Which transport or which means of Transport do you prefer? Or think of another question. Would you rather eat Arabic foods or order European dishes? Or which places would you prefer? Yes, Fed. Do you want to say something? Yes? To say the truth, I'm confused. I don't know what to say. If I want something only one time. I don't know if I need a noun or a verb. I can select between prefer, would prefer, and would rather. And I don't know what shall I use after these verbs. Is it the ing form? Or two plus verb? Or just the base form or the bare infinitive? Don't worry, Fahad. We will answer all these questions. Ready? Let's do it. First, we need to distinguish between general preferences and preference in a particular situation or occasional preferences. When you want to talk about your likes, your hobbies, your favorites, things you always liked, you liked in the past, you like now in the present, and you like in the future. Here we are talking about general preferences, past, present, and future, before, now, and in the future, always, all the time, each time. Remember, here you are talking about general preferences. Only this time, just now, not always, only in the, this restaurant, I want just to try to change 
here you are talking about occasional preferences so when you want to express a general preference you can use the verb prefer plus a noun or a ninety form one example Ahmed is talking to his friend he just said what kinds of drink do you like in general Ali answered it I prefer tea I generally prefer tea means I like tea Ali can also answer I generally prefer drinking tea or I prefer drinking tea this is a general preference but let's imagine a second scene in a restaurant and let's imagine the following dialogue the waiter what do you like as a drink sir Ahmed known that Ali prefers tea says Ali I know you like tea but I advise you to try their cappuccino Ali can answer I prefer cappuccino means I prefer drinking cappuccino this time so here the verb prefer followed by a noun or an ing form can express both a general preference or an occasional preference depending on the context the verb prefer can be also followed by a noun or an ing form to and a second down or a second ing form here we are expressing a general preference one example I prefer tea to coffee or I prefer drinking tea to drinking coffee means this is my general preference this is what I always like the verb prefer can be also used to express a general preference when followed by a full infinitive to plus verb followed by the expression rather than followed by a bare infinitive the base form of a verb without to so I prefer to drink tea rather than drink and not to drink coffee I prefer to drink tea rather than drink coffee so here we finish it with the verb prefer and we said that it can express a general preference when followed by a noun or an ing form when followed by a noun or an ing form to and the second noun or a second ing form or when followed by a full infinitive the expression rather than and a bare infinitive all these forms can be employed to express a general preference prefer plus noun or an ing form can be used to express an occasional preference depending on the context now let's move to to a second expression which is would rather and would rather can be employed to express a general preference or also an occasional preference let's study the cases would rather plus a bare infinitive then a second bare infinitive One example, I would rather leave and not to leave. I would rather leave 
in Medina than live in any other city. I think we missed one preposition in this sentence. Let's correct our mistake. What are these symbols? So, I would rather live in Medina than live in any other city. So, here means that this is what you always liked. The same expression would rather can be used to express an occasional preference or a pref uh, preference in a particular situation when followed by only a bare infinitive without then. I would rather visit New York this time and not to visit. A third expression can be used for preferences, it is would prefer, and would prefer is only used to express preferences in particular situations or contexts, means occasional preferences. So the form is would prefer plus a full infinitive to plus verb, rather than a bare infinitive. One example, I would prefer to visit Salala rather than stay in Doha in August. Pay attention, we had a mistake. What is it? Exactly, we need a capital letter for proper noun for nouns, for places, persons, and the like. So, I would prefer to visit Salala rather than stay in Doha. This is only in August when it is so hot. A second example, I would prefer to discover Tabarqa. It is a city in Tunisia this winter then travel to Europe. So, when you say, I would prefer to visit Salala rather than stay in August, this means that this preference is occasional, is temporary. It is not what you always like. Normally you want to stay in Doha, but because of the heat of summer, you want to visit Salala. At this level, we have finished with the three expressions we plan to study during this lesson and all can express preferences, whether general or occasional. But I still remember a question asked by Fahad at the beginning of the lesson and it was about the form of the verb after any of these expressions. So, dear Fahad, with the verb prefer, you need a noun or an ing form. Means, I prefer playing, swimming, skating, to diving, to watching, to flying, etc. Prefer can also be followed by a full infinitive with rather than i prefer to play rather than stay the same we would prefer but after rather than or then here we have a bare infinitive so i would prefer to read rather than play i would prefer to write rather than make when we want to use the expression would rather we need a base form, the bare infinitive of the verb. I would rather not play games. He would rather revise his lessons. Here we are at the end of the lesson. Don't forget the anti-virus. 
here we are at the end of the lesson which you have understood everything given during it don't forget your antiviruses and see you so soon